to We Can Wake Up and Praise Party. Praise Party. Whoops, whoop. We love these Praise Parties. Yeah, yeah. a really great Praise Party to come in um, on from, from our We Can Wake Up. Actually. I love it. And it says this, God is so good. I have been praying for God to restore what the enemy has stolen from me. I am seeing so many mountains move and an abundance of blessings. I am in a safe place with increased finance and so much support. I am so grateful and blessed that I am literally in tears of gratitude. Thank you for all your prayers. L-W-B-C. I love that she said she's in a safe place. Yeah. I can't imagine any other place to rejoice about other than being in a safe place. So I think that that's a powerful, powerful testimony. We we'll praise and rejoice with you. We love these praise reports, so please write them out to us. We, we look at these comments and we do. We print them out and we bring them to the show and we love to hear about the praise reports. So today, yes, what, are we, what are we learning We're going to talk about today, not being conformed to the pattern of this world. Oh, I like this. Because okay. the world has a pattern, yep. but um, God's system is totally different. First. And so let's go, jump to Romans 12 and verse 2. It says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, um, there's all different ways that we can take this, but the way the Holy Spirit was leading me is how do you perceive yourselves? What do you think about yourselves? The world would have you to define yourself by your mistakes, your shortcomings, your insecurities, the wounds in your life. Um, that's the pattern of the world. But God's pattern is completely reversed. In fact, it's it's completely opposite of what the world would say, or even the enemy brings to you and says, you know, this is how you are defined. Um, and he is always, God is always the opposite of that. You know, the, the, the world or the enemy could say, you know, you're always going to be broke. You're always going to have that sickness. You're always going to deal with that issue. Um, you're always going to have depression because, you know, depression not only is a part of you, but it's a part of your family. Your mom had it. Your grandmother had it. You're going to have it. But God says something totally different. He says something opposite. He says, I created you in Christ. You are a brand new creation in Christ. I love it. The old is gone. The new has come. You know, what happens when you spend time in the Word? Say, so you, you know, you go to church every Sunday. You know, we should be in church every Sunday. Yes, we should. Every Sunday yes. is a renewing of the mind. Yep. Every Sunday, no, you can take one hour out of, out of your week and sit down and hear the Word yeah. of God. And even if the message has nothing to do with anything that you're going on in your life, you know, the Holy Spirit can speak a message even deeper than the words that are coming out of the mouth of the pastor. But anyways. You may listen to podcasts. You may get into your word. Why do you do that? Because as you're reading the word, as you're hearing the word, it says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's when the transformation happens. That's when the renewing process happens. That's when all of a sudden, you know, you're in the word and you're doing you're you're doing all the things and learning about all the promises of God. And one day you wake up and you go, oh my gosh, I used to be like stressed out. Yeah. I used to have fear. I used to have sickness in my life. I used to have depression or all these different things. Yeah. And you go, I don't have that anymore. That is when God's word is being revealed in your life. That is victory. That is overcoming. Yeah, I love it. Um, and it reminds me of the story of Zacchaeus and the Bible. Um, when Zacchaeus, you know, long story short, basically met Jesus, yep. his life was completely transformed, transformed in that moment. So much so that he went, you know, he was known as a greedy man. He was all about himself. He was, he was mean. He was, he was all these things. He was a tax collector. But he was also, you know, gaining money from the people that he shouldn't be gaining from them. And that was just the society back then. But Jesus came into his life, and it totally transformed him. He, he went out, and he's like, I'm going to pay um, four times yeah. back what I had taken from you. And, and the Bible says that his whole entire house was saved now. Talk about a complete transformation because of Jesus, because of the Word. It's so powerful. Well, the Scripture tells us to be a light to the world, and it tells us that we can be a light to the world. Mm -hmm. We are that light with Jesus on the inside of us. We continue to be and shine that bright light when we allow the world to do and make that transformation in our life. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how we show ourselves to be different, by not being conformed, but rather transformed by the words of Jesus, by Jesus' power on the inside of us. And, um, you know, I was just talking to our 13-year-old, our Savannah, about being a light and how, you know, 
unkind things happen and mean stuff gets said to us and you know um maybe we have friends in our circle you know she's eighth grade and so that girl drama and they're all figuring out who they are and what life looks like and how to navigate that circle and you know and there's a couple in there that are challenging for her and and you know my number one go-to and commission to her is you are a kind person you are always a kind person you have the power for kindness on the inside of you no matter what the world does to you and that includes this couple of eighth grade girls it does not matter you don't have to return um you know in kind what they're doing to you you actually return opposite and give kindness back to them and i said you know even if it means you extricate extricate yourself and remove yourself from the situation or even the the group or the the friend circle or whatever i said but your number one thing is is no matter what i have the love of jesus on the inside of me i'm not conformed to the world i'm not going to act and react you know, Jesus didn't leave Zacchaeus to stand on his own and to be alone, and, G- and Jesus is not going to do that with us. And so I told her, I'm like, you have the power for kindness on all occasions, and you are going to be so much prouder and so much and feel so much better about it. And she's only like been in school two days, and already she's like, Jeez. man, she's like, I have I have continued to exercise that kindness, and she's like, it's a complete transformation. Wow. She's like, it actually closes the door for any snarky. She yes. just doesn't even she just doesn't even recognize right. it because she so has her heart set on what the word says about her what she has on the inside of her, the ability on the inside yeah. of her, and that she doesn't have to conform, she doesn't have to act like the rest of them, and she can actually actually exercise kindness. And she's been doing it and she's like, it's crazy. She's like, I don't even I don't even notice all the other stuff. She's like, it just rolls right off of me. And I'm like, because you've chosen the word yeah. and it will always be light. Yeah. And that that's the point is making that choice when it says do not be conformed it's actually giving you kind of a directive right there yeah. don't conform to what the pattern of the world is no but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so it's it's kind of a, 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 a not a command but a directive well what you said though earlier really really um matters to me and this is it okay and you talked about being in church and you know yes you can grow in the word you grow by hearing the word the bible's very specific it hey, says you sometimes know, i've heard in church and, and praise and worship did it for me right but my point is this when you get your physical body into physical church yes. and, and you get yourself surrounded by a tribe a group of people a circle of influence yeah. that are going to point you to the word what happens you actually become reminded of what you have on the inside of you. You become reminded of the power that is in the yeah. word that's afforded to us, right? Yeah. I mean, so when when we're out on the outskirts and we allow ourselves to kind of be on the fringe of that, we kind of remove ourselves from that power of, mm-hmm. of being reminded. You don't remove yourself from the power of the word. Yeah. But it says the hearing of the word. Yeah. Well, sometimes hearing of the word can come from the mouth of a Christian friend. Exactly. That's that's true. So yeah, don't be conformed. Get around people that are going to remind you. Go to church and get a, and, and, and sit under your amazing pastor that has nothing but the word of God to share with you. That's going to activate your life. Amen. Do you want to pray? Yeah, please do. <laughs> Father God, Lord, I thank you for this word today. I thank you, Lord, that you're directing our steps and that we will not be conformed to the pattern of this world. We we let go of the world and we take on all that Jesus is, all that He has done for us, and we thank you for the victory of that now in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a fabulous <laughs> Bye. <laughs>